Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore few of the tools in the skeleton menu. So I have made a, a video tutorial on create joints and uh, all the options related to the joints. I'll be the I'll be sharing the link in the description. So I'll start with create joints and then I start placing joints here and let's explore few of the tools. So we have uh, this tool called insert joints tool. Pick that and then once you have picked the insert joints tool, click on any of the joint and just click and drag like that. And then you get the joints placed in the uh, existing joint chain. Okay. Uh, then we have this option called remove joint. So I'll be exiting the uh, insert joints tool first. And then I'm going to select any of the joint here and then say remove joint. And you should be able to see that joint has been removed. So you can select any one of them and then remove that. If you select and delete, the total hierarchy will be gone. So don't do that. Remove joint should be a better option. So we have this option called connect the joints. So what is that? Let's say if I've created a joint chain, which is maybe a hand or a leg, and then we have a traditional way of like, we select this joint and this joint, and then we apply parenting method, and then we get that connection. So most of the riggers do that. Uh, however, we've got a formal tool for it. So we have uh, this tool called connect the joint. So in connect joint, we have two options. One is connect joint and the parent joint. So let me uh, first try the connect joint method and then just apply the connect. And you should be able to see the total joint chain move there and it has connected but you should be able to see something really important that if i select this joint and move this has been moved here but it has been parented to a joint above it okay you can try that with some other joint also to see how this is working so i'm choosing the connect joint it moved there and it has been parented to that joint here so we have the other option in the connect joint which is the parent joint method which you can do uh, even without accessing this tool called connect joints just by pressing P. If you use it from here, you get the same uh, action done here. Just I do this by selecting this joint and this joint and then pre press P on the keyboard. So that's the connect joint here. The next option here is uh, the disconnect joint. So when I choose that, you get a disconnection and then you can separate that joint chain from the existing joint chain here. So it can be quite useful when rigging complex uh, things and sometimes you want to separate the limbs for maybe a specific reason then this should be a great way to do that okay uh, so we have a lot of joint chains here right so i'm going to select uh, these joint chains and then parent it with this so you should be able to see uh, this joint here i'm i'll be increasing the radius of that joint for you to understand okay uh, i'll be moving this I should be able to see this joint is the root joint and what that actually means is if you open the outliner uh, that is going to be in the top of this hierarchy okay this joint is joint number one and it is a parent of all joint chains here okay so if i select this joint and then i say reroot skeleton which is joint number 11 which is there here when i say reroot skeleton the hierarchy is rearranged and then joint 11 has become the new parent joint here okay so reroot skeleton is uh, again a great way to change the hierarchy of the joint chain especially we are affecting the uh, root joint so we want to change something else so root joint is the parent joint of the total hierarchy any joint can turn into a, a root joint by just using this option called reroot skeleton 